Yeah, yeah, I've got time. Welcome back to the 20 Minute Gamer Channel, everybody. I'm your host, Nick, and we're jumping into a new segment I'm calling Kits by Community. That's right, it's exactly how it sounds. These are kits that have been given to me by the community for classes to see what my impression is of them and if they help me along my way when it comes to fighting the Xeno scum. Um, a couple of you have reached out to me on the live streams, commented that uh, you have some kits that you feel help you on the higher difficulties, and you asked if I was interested in seeing what those kits were. I 100% am. I'm all about using kits that help benefit myself and my peers when playing on the higher difficulties. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and get into this real quick and uh, and just kind of kick things off with the first one. The first one is coming to me from a uh, from a gentleman. Um, his name is Awin Spooters. He's been on a couple of my live streams already. And this is a Lancer kit that he built. Um, this is a Lancer grid that he utilizes on, um, on higher difficulties that he's had a lot of good luck with. So starting out, we are using Particle Wave. So we're not actually using the actual Lance portion. Uh, we're adjusting to use the Particle Wave, which is basically the Particle Lance in shotgun form, right? Uh, it creates that, uh, that cone in front of you, gives you about 100 50 to 160 degree arc of coverage right in front of you and uh, it kind of wipes out anything that's in the, in your direct um, sight range. Now it is um, very short range. Uh, I mean you're not uh, you're not going to be hitting targets um, on the other side of uh, on the other side of the map like you would with the actual particle lance uh, and it's uh, not necessarily like it is piercing but not in the same way that the particle lance is piercing, right? So I've had uh, I've had some some good experience with this, uh, and especially on the harder difficulties, I actually think the particle wave might be the way to go. Uh, just because when you are getting swarmed with the Xenos, you tend to be able to fend for yourself easier, and especially if you maybe have like a demolisher on your side as well, if you're able to coordinate a time for him to drop blast wave and then you follow up with particle wave uh, you definitely get some really amazing results with it uh, but I've uh, I definitely just from experience and I'll show case some gameplay as well of me utilizing this kit um, I've, I've had a lot of really good experience with it now uh, you have a force multiplier three and quick charge two so you're recharging a little bit quicker uh, the damage has increased a little bit as well uh, you also have down and out so you deal 20% more damage to enemies that are stunned or knocked um, once again definitely a really really good uh, really good thing because when you use particle wave your struck enemies are stunned for up to three seconds. Uh, it says it right there. I'll just read it right off the card. Uh, damage resistance is increased on activation. Struck enemies are stunned for up to three seconds. So what's really good about that is in conjunction and uh, it, working with down and out, when those enemies are stunned or knocked back, you're dealing an additional 20% more damage. So um, pop this on, uh, on a group that are coming at you. Maybe there's even a warrior or a drone in there. Uh, a Praetorian, maybe a Crusher, you're going to be dealing initial 20% more damage to those enemies that are now stunned. Um, Omniscience, really great perk for Overwatch. It uh, allows you to stack six times instead of five, and you now only lose one stack of Overwatch every three seconds instead of every second. The other thing that we're using is Onslaught. We're using Tenacious. Um, so now Onslaught lasts 20% longer and grants 5% more weapon damage and damage resistance. So you are slowly becoming a little bit of a tank. Uh, you can actually stand there, eat a little bit more damage with these perks engaged, and you can also dish out a lot more damage as well. Uh, so if you're able to pop a lot of these things and utilize them during those swarms, uh, this build has given me a lot of confidence in the weapons that I've chosen to use and, uh, and a, being able to actually be that tank for my team. Maybe we're doing a, a peel. Maybe we're peeling back to a place where we can um, utilize a, a fatal funnel. Being able to be out there for your team as a Lancer 
is is great. I know the Phalanx is kind of the go-to tank or damage eater in this game, but uh, this kit definitely helps if you don't have a Phalanx on your team. Um, as far as weapon perks go, we're using the Technician CQW training, and we're using the Lancer Heavy training. Um, I'll let you all look at those in your uh, in your free time here. Um, but um, we're also using off of the CQW training, we're utilizing CQW Mastery and Technician CQW Mastery. For the heavy training, we're utilizing Lancer Heavy Expertise and then Lancer Heavy Mastery. Now, um, I know that all of this is a... Uh, you need to make sure as well that you utilize the right weapons in conjunction with your grid. Obviously, if I'm using a CQW and a heavy training uh, core perk, I want to make sure that I'm also utilizing a weapon that will support and benefit those, right? If I bring along a heavy weapon that uh, I really have no intention of using consistently, why even utilize those perk uh, slots? Use those perk slots for something else. For example, if you really want to lean on using a flamethrower or something incendiary, that may not be an every single second of every single moment use for the weapon. Um, what I like about this is it's a really good balance across everything. So I personally have chosen to utilize the Jiper submachine gun and then the uh, the L59 minigun. Um, this has been uh, some of my my best experience has been from these. So uh, that's that's just kind of what I went went into. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into some gameplay though, utilizing this uh, this particular grid, and uh, hopefully you get a good feel. The gameplay is done on intense difficulty. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into some gameplay.
three seconds may not actually feel like a long time, but here's a great example of how long three seconds actually is, as you are able to watch the 15% drop down to 12, down to 9. If you needed to actually roll out of the way to pick up new foothold, that three seconds is actually going to maintain that percent bonus a lot longer than we actually perceive the three seconds to be. I hope you all have enjoyed this brief look into the uh, the Spooter's build. Like I said, this is a build that he gave to me during one of my live streams. He felt as though it provided a good balance to the Lancer kit on your harder difficulties. If anyone else out there has any builds that they think are beneficial on the harder difficulties, I mean, even just fun builds, I mean, they don't even have to have a purpose. I mean, it could literally just be, hey, I built this because it chunks all damage right into a submachine gun or a rifle or a shotgun. Uh, this build gets me really awesome reload times with a, with a shotgun. Um, so it doesn't even have to be anything spectacular. It could honestly just be a kit that you've built for fun. I would love to see it. Um, this is going to be an ongoing thing. I have other kits on my backlog as well that I'd love to uh, to show everybody. And from uh, from what you can tell on the characters, my mains right now are Gunner, Demolisher, Lancer, and Technician. So if you have Doc, Phalanx, or Recon fully kitted out, um, I would love to see those builds as well because they're not my strongest and I would love to be able to see a way to make them work. So um, please feel free to reach out to me, let me know, and uh, I, will, uh, I will see you on the next one. Thanks for stopping by. Stay frosty out there. Nick out.